Hi, I'm Jason Ganey of Epic One Designs here at Four Seasons RC Raceway to show you our newest product, Chassis Armor. It's a five and a half by 13 and a half customizable sheet. It's 21 mil thick to protect your chassis. It has peel and stick and stick and stick technology, which actually allows you to peel this back and get to your hex heads and chassis um, anytime you need to and actually reapply it and peel it again over and over. It also has a smooth surface that reduces chassis friction on the track. Now we're going to show you a little bit about how to properly apply this, which is really important. And we're going to have a couple tips for the budget racers in mind. So we have our sheet. What we're going to do is start by making this as easy as possible. Take off your wing. Go ahead and remove your body. We're going to remove all four wheels. At this point, we have it brought down to where we can start working on it. Some people might also pull these down to give themselves a little more proper space um, by removing the shocks. I don't find it to be necessary myself. Next, we're going to remove the bumper. So we're going to remove this bumper. At this point, we're not always lucky enough to have a brand new car that we're working on. Sometimes our car is already been ran and now we have a product that we want to use and put on it so at this point if your chassis isn't clean like this you may have some dirt and debris in your hexes and one of the keys to this is, is not having that problem in the future so we want to make sure now before we put it on that we get those all cleaned out using a small pick you can make circular motions and pick all that dirt out blow it out and get those hexes clean that way when you need to get to this chassis it's not a problem in the future if your chassis does have debris on it, we recommend that you only use a damp cloth and wipe it down and get it clean after you've already removed the dirt out of the hexes. Do not use uh, any abrasive cleaners or anything beyond a damp cloth. It is also important at that point to let it dry very well before application. So we've got it to that point. We're going to spin it around, peel back our Epic One Designs chassis armor. And we're going to slide it in underneath where the front bumper would be. We're going to go ahead and go all the way down in there, even though you don't have to go this far to get it underneath the bumper. Slide it in like that. Some chassis will be different than others, some easier. This is one of the more difficult ones. Bring it back, kind of try to center it between your arms and lay it down once and we're going to peel this up a couple times just to make sure we get a little air to that adhesive and break it in well very important with this to peel these back a few times and not just stick them on and leave them this allows the adhesive to work properly and not over adhere to either either the plastic metal or carbon fiber chassis that you're running. So once you've gotten that down, now you can take and start to work around the chassis, kind of feel out that chassis and where that, that armor is going to end when you start to finish your design. So it makes it great as you can choose whether or not you want to cover the black or just the aluminum on different chassis and such. So it gives you freedom, just like great cars give you the freedom to set them up the way you like for the way you drive. We're going to give you a product that allows you to protect your chassis the way you want. So you can see you kind of start to see the basic shape that you're going to be cutting out of your chassis. And now this is very important to put a fresh, uh, fresh blade on on your razor before you start to to work on this chassis. Usually what I like to do is we're going to save as much as we can off of this product. So we're going to have our our sheet to the side and have that ready. And I usually try to save these corners and the back corners and we'll show you later. Um, we'll have uh, team driver Mike Brown showing you some ideas 
where you can use these pieces that you save. So I usually like to just start somewhere on the side of the chassis. Make a little cut right in here somewhere. Feel the edge. And don't worry about getting real close or perfect. We just want to get the basic shape. The key is to not take too much right off the bat. So we're just gonna, we can kind of see that line, stay outside of it. Bring your blade up a little bit when you get towards the end so that you don't cut into other parts of your car. I'm gonna take that and lay it back down. We come back this way. And a lot of times what I'll do is just go ahead and take from the arm and cut this out because this is gonna be a valuable piece right here later. Again, we're being very careful of both our fingers and at this point not to cut too much of the product off. Now is when you take a little bit more time and start really paying attention to where you're at. Some people will actually find that they can cut right on the, on the chassis when they're initially doing the cutout. I just tend to like to, to do it this way myself. Now we'll come in, feel where the edge of our chassis is, and I'll do those same cuts into the chassis to work well. And now I'll start to kind of run along that chassis line. So now what we want to do once we've gotten this down is go ahead and peel it back. And this is really important to, again, break in this adhesive and you see how I work that product up. Not worried about getting a little fingerprints or dirt on it. Good. Bring it up towards the front. Put it back down. Reapply it. And we're going to do that three or four times. I uh, like to go ahead and put the bumper back on just so you don't take any chances of peeling it all the way off and trying to recenter it. So we have the bumper reapplied. Now we're just going to go ahead and peel this up. And I would say a good four to five times. Go ahead and peel this back. Reapply it back down. And get those edges on. Again. This just breaks that adhesive in so it doesn't end up too strong. We want to make sure that adhesive stays on the product and doesn't get onto your chassis. So doing this will allow, one, for you to be able to peel this well from front to back anytime you need to get to it and not have it over adhere. Um, it's not even a bad idea to every couple weeks peel it back and reapply it even if you're not needing to get to your chassis. Um, these can get dirty. They will still adhere. So go ahead and just work it back a few times um, and bring it back down. And then the last time you do it, you can take a little extra time to Make sure you push any air bubbles out and get it back down. Now you have protection for your chassis as well as an ability to remove it and get to the hex heads when you need to. Um, next we're going to have uh, team driver Mikey Brown show you some ideas for the budget conscious hobby racer that um, will get a little more longevity out of the product for you. Thanks a lot.